Okay. Let's prove now the converse of the uh, Sewa's theorem. Converse is also true. Of Sewa's theorem is also true. So what's the Sewa's theorem? Sewa's theorem says, if these Sevians are uh, concurrent, then this product Bx over Xc, Cy over Ya, uh, Az over Zb is one. And the converse says, if this is equal to one, then, uh, uh, then they are concurrent. These two Sevians are concurrent. So here's the uh, statement. Uh, if three Sevians if three Sevians uh, AX BY C Z of a triangle of a triangle ABC oops a, B, C, satisfy. Satisfies, uh, satisfy this equality. E, X over X, C, C, Y over Y, A, and A, Z over Z, B is one. Then they are concurrent. Then they, uh, we mean this, these three savings are concurrent. They are concurrent. Namely, they intersect at one point. They pass through the same point. They pass through the same point. So here is, uh, namely, and we have savian savian AX and BY. Is x, that's y. Uh, in principle, we may have something like this, z. Uh, it may not pass through the same point, but uh, the theorem says, if this equality holds, then this, uh, they all should, the cz must also pass through that point. That point, uh, okay. So here's a proof. Uh, so let AX be Y, CZ be three series, uh, three. B, Three Syrians. Syrians such that BX over XC times uh, CY over YA times AZ over ZB is equal to one. Uh, let's draw these Sivians. Uh, a couple of them. Oops. So this is A, A, B, C. Let's suppose this is AX and that's BY. And that let P be this intersection point of AX and let P be the intersection point of 
of AX and BY. Okay. And, and let uh, let's use different colors. Let's, let's draw this Syrian, this Syrian. And this point may be Z or some other point. Let's call this Z prime. So, so that Z prime B uh, on a B such that the Syrian CZ prime passes through this point P. Okay, I draw this point and I will show that this Z prime is equal to Z. Uh, how do we do this? By Sewa's theorem, Uh, we have bx over xz xc times cy, the, these lengths of course, uh, y a times a z prime over uh, z prime b is one. And on the other hand, on the other hand, we have another point z on this uh, a b, uh, so at the same uh, in principle, it may be some other point like this, in principle, Z, Z might be like that, not prime. Uh, we will show that they are the same point, Z and Z, Z is equal to Z prime. Uh, how do we prove this? Uh, on the other hand, Other hand, by assumption, we have uh, Bx over uh, here, the assumption, this line, this equality, Bx over Xc is equal to Cy over Ya, oops, times, sorry, uh, A, Z over Z, C is equal to one. They are all positive numbers. And from this and that equalities. So from now one and two and two. Uh, so all these terms are the same, right? This, these terms are the same. We have a z over a z prime over z prime b is the same thing as a z over z b. So this forces that z must be z prime. Z prime must be z. Uh, the reason is that they are on they are between a and b. Since they are between a and b. Otherwise, if they are different, if one of them is longer, let's say, if AZ is bigger than ZB is smaller so that they cannot be equal. So therefore, uh, therefore, therefore, all CVNs, all three CVNs, the three CVNs, uh, AX, BY, CZ, pass through the same point. The same point. P. Namely, they are concurrent. I.e. they are concurrent. I mean, if they satisfy this, if the three series satisfy this property, this property, 
uh, then uh, they are then they are concurrent. If they are concurrent, then this equality is satisfied. That's the Sevas theorem, and that's, this is the converse. Okay, that's the sec this section about this this Sevas theorem. Now what? There are some now in, some interesting. Uh, you will see some interesting uh, triangles corresponding to that triangle. From a triangle, we will, we will obtain other triangles. So for this one, one point next state uh, is, uh, next section is 1.3, the points of, points of interest. In a triangle. Still, we are dealing in this uh, this section. In this section, we will deal with the triangles always until uh, 1.9. Okay. What is this? So here's the definition. So given a uh, triangle, we will. Uh, we will see some points. The center of the circle of the circle, a circumcircle of the so a circumcircle is. Uh, the circle so let me use different colors so given this triangle there is a unique circle passing through all these three sides uh, it has a center let's call this o this is the circumcircle uh, the center uh, the center of this uh, of the circumcircle uh, is called the circumcenter right here. So this is the circumcenter here. So if the all, all ang angles are acute angle, it will be inside the triangle. Uh, otherwise, it will be outside. And the radius of the circle, the radius of the circumcenter, circumcircle. Let's call, call it R, is the radius, is the circumcircle radius. So this is circumcenter, this is circumradius, and that's the circumcircle outside. Okay. We will have special uh, series now. The first one is a median, medians. Now the series, this is the definition, I did not write definition, but the series joining the vertices Joining the vertices of a triangle uh, 
to the midpoint of point of uh, the opposite side. Opposite sides uh, are called medians. Uh, so oops. so when we have this triangle a b c uh, if we take the midpoints so that this side is x that this length is x and if we divide this into two, this is y, y, and z, z, then a x uh, is a median, b, y is a median, and c, z is a median, and these savings are concurrent. The reason is that uh, Bx, this is x, capital Y, capital Z here, Bx over xc times Cy over Ya times Az over Zb is, this is x over x, y over y times Z over Z is one, they are positive numbers. So therefore, uh, therefore, uh, these medians, these are medians, oh, let me write this for this. So these three, uh, lines are medians. Okay, now this, so therefore from here, therefore uh, the medians, medians of a triangle are concurrent by the converse of the Sevas theorem. So, the, a, a fact that that we are uh, taught in the, in the middle school or at the high school that all medians pass through the same point, but over there we we didn't see the proof. Uh, is here's a definition. This intersection point. The intersection point uh, intersection point of three medians medians are called is called oops not R. It's a unique point. is called the centroid. So if you think that this uh, triangle is made of um, some uh, homogen metal, for example, that's the centroid. Cent centroid is the center of uh, what's called uh, I, I don't know its name, so it should be, it should have, the, that point uh, should have the center of, uh, oh look, because uh, <laughs> center it. Okay, in English, oh look, because uh, what's, whatever that is. Okay, well, one more thing is, I forgot, 
say. So let's take also let's consider this circle. This is useful, and this is the origin uh, circumcenter. And uh, if you draw these perpendicular lines to the from O to the sides A, B, C. So this is let's say A, B, C, and let's draw these perpendiculars to the sides from the point A. Then, uh, then this is the midpoint of B and C. Uh, this is this X is uh, let's call this uh, not X but anyway, A B C. Let's say D. Uh, this is the mid uh, midpoint of this length is the same as that length. So B D is equal to D C. The reason is that we have a uh, we have a uh, we have a triangle here, and it's an isosceles triangle, so that the height divides into two pieces. Okay. And similarly for the others, maybe I shouldn't call D, D will be, will be the same thing. Uh, let's call this X. D, D, with D, C, D, E, C, we will show a certain points later on the uh, on the triangle. So let's call this uh, okay. D prime, E prime, this prime, uh, e, uh, D, E, F, D prime, C, E, A, etc. And a f prime is equal to f prime uh, b. Okay, so what happened? So this side is equal to. Uh, I don't see if anybody raises hand. If if in case I don't uh, I don't see, maybe I will do what. Anyway, these sides are equal, same. These sides are the same as well. Uh, okay. Any questions so far? No questions. Good. Next. So here is a theorem. about these medians. A triangle is dissected, so you will see the meaning of this, by its medians. into six smaller, into six smaller triangles of equal area. So what do we mean with this? Uh, I mean this. So let's take this triangle ABC. Uh, let's look at the medians. It's the median, and that's another median. This is another median. Median. So they all pass through this point centroid. Uh, so 
So let's call this side this X, uh, not X, not that side, sorry. Sorry. So let X be the area of, so this is P, this N, uh, or let's call this G, this point, G. The center it is G. Uh, uh, so let's call this, let X be the area of this triangle. This is A prime, yes, B prime and C prime. Uh, so that this side is equal to that side, this side is equal to that side, and this part is equal to that part. And so if you look at the area of this triangle BAG, that's the, uh, that BA prime G, that is equal to the area of uh, a prime G, G, C, because the length of the basis, uh, this B, A is equal to A prime, C, B, A prime is equal to A prime C, and the heights are the same. So that this, these areas are the same. And similarly, the area of this triangle, uh, C, G, B prime is the, is this, is, is equal to that area. And uh, these areas are the same as well. So for this, uh, let G B A prime is equal to G B A prime is equal to G A prime C is equal to X, as we showed, and G C B prime, G C B prime, which is this area is equal to G B prime C A is equal to Y and G A C prime G A C prime is equal to G C prime B. Let's call this Z as we showed in the picture, but let's write it formally. Now, now, if you look at the area of C, A, C prime, C, A, C prime, C, A, C prime, this area. This area is, that area is, uh, this area is equal to, C, C prime B, C, but this unshaded part, they are equal because the uh, this space A, C prime is equal to C prime B and their heights are the same. So that this, these areas are the same. So therefore, uh, the area of the first one is y, 2Y plus Z, namely Y, Y, Z, 2Y plus Z is equal to uh, the other one is 2x plus z, so therefore uh, we get x equal to y. x equal to y. And if you look at a, b, a prime, a, b, a prime, similarly, a, b, a prime is uh, a, a, B A prime is equal to A A prime C A prime A C anyway. So therefore, uh, two Z plus X is equal to two Y plus X. So from here you get Y is equal to Z. So therefore, uh, therefore we have X is equal to Y that's equal to Z. So that. Uh, these medians divides 
uh, uh, divides this triangle into six regions whose areas are the same. That's uh, what the theorem says. Okay. Medians divide uh, this triangle into six regions, six triangles of equal area. Okay. Bu sayfanın biraz üstünde hani medyumlar ikiye bölüyor dedik. Aynı zamanda da dik oluyor dedik ya. Dik oluyor demedim. Ya. Şu, şu an baktığımız şekilde dik dedik ya. O diklik her zaman olmak zorunda değil gibi. Dik demedim ki. Ya, Burayı dik demedim. Bura değil. Bunun bir tık üstü. Ha bu medyan değil bu. So this is uh, centroid. Aslında ama burada da iki eşit parçaya bölmüyor mu? Yine medyan olmuş oluyor. Ya yani iki eşit parçaya bölmek zorunda mı? Medyana A'dan A değil medyan çizmedim ki. D üstüne medyan çizmedim burada. Medyan yok. Şu şekilde. Ha. So this O D this line does not need to pass through A. Peki diğerleri o şekilde ikiye bölmek zorunda mı? Dik e, sentroidten dik çizdiğim zaman bir kenara ikiye bölmek zorunda mı? Evet. Tamam hocam. Şu şekle bakarsanız sentroid bu şeyi çizerseniz çemberi sentroid neydi? Tri medyan evet. intersectionları. Evet. Yok yok pardon bu şey bu sentroid değil o o o is uh, the cent circumcenter. Centroid. Tamam ben bir an onu işte sentroid olarak no. kaldırdım. No, 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 no. Şey They are different. Centroid is G ortho center is O. Okay? <gülüyor> Tamamdır. Always always O is O is uh, the center of the circle passing through ABC. Namely, center of circumcircle. Okay? And G is centroid. Centroid is, is the intersection of three medians, right? And O is the center of, uh, so for example, if you have a right triangle like this, the, a triangle like this, then O is outside. It will be. But centroid is inside. Somewhere there, like this. Okay. Good. Any other questions? Now, one more. About medians. The medians of a triangle This is something uh, I heard when I when I was at high school, but of course, uh, over there, they don't show the proof. Uh, the medians of a triangle divide one another one another uh, in the ratio two to one. Namely, Medians well, trisect one another. Trisect one another. Oh, what do we mean with this? Is that 
it says if you draw these medians like this, uh, if this 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 is these are medians like this, and uh, if this side is x, this side is two x, right? And similarly for the others. How do we? So this axis will be different, but let me uh, let's say call this x bar. Okay, here's the proof. Uh, now let's just disregard this uh, picture. Let's draw another picture, bigger picture. Okay, this is A, B, C, and this will be all, this will always be A prime, B prime, and C prime. And we know that this area is x, that area is x, this area is x, that area is x, x, x. These areas. So, if you look at the this is the send, uh, this is also G. That point is G also. Uh, if you look at the area of G, A, B, G, A, B, let's shade that area. G, A, B, G, A, B. Right, this part, that's G, A, B is equal to 2x which is, which is 2 times gba prime and gab is this side is the length ag times h over 2, a g times h over 2. h is uh, the height corresponding to this a g, which I will not sketch here. OK. And that's equal to uh, 2 times, if you look at the area of this triangles, g, b, <coughs> G, B, A prime, G, G B, A prime, this, this area. Uh, <laughs> height is the same, so it is G, A prime over two times H, right? So this is the area of uh, this black shaded triangle, and the other one is the area of this, uh, yellow shaded triangle. So we have this equality. If you cancel H and uh, H's and twos, we get a G is equal to two times G A prime as shown. So that, uh, so that if this length is one, then that length is two. And similarly, Uh, similarly, BG is is two times G B prime, and CG is two times G C prime. You just look at the other triangles; it's the same. You just rotate it. Okay, this is the something that probably all of you heard before, without proof. Okay, questions, any questions? No questions. Okay, then uh, if you don't understand something, just ask like as, in, as if we are in the class. 
I don't see you, but probably you don't see me. I, I might have turned off my video. Uh, okay, let's see. Other uh, terminology is the altitudes. and the ortic triangle. So let me first sketch this, a triangle like this. And let's draw this lines, line segments perpendicular to this sides. Well, uh, I draw in such a way that they pass through the same point, these heights, but in fact, they are, uh, I guess we will show, show this. These heights will pass through the same point. Okay. So, so when we have this, then we may have, this is, that, that point is D, that point is E, and this point will be F, the feet of these uh, altitudes. And then we have uh, this intersection point is called H, which I will see in a moment. Before this, let me use different colors. And I can draw this triangle D, D, E, F, E, E, F. And this is, uh, this, the center is, oops, let me use different colors. Red colors, red, red, or black. Let's call this is H, this intersection point is H. I, I have drawn it. Okay, let AD, Uh, B E C F B Savians perpendicular to perpendicular to B C uh, C A and A B respectively. Namely, AD is perpendicular to BC, BE is perpendicular to CA, and CF is perpendicular to AB. Then they are, these, they are called, namely, AD, BE, and CF, they are called oh, altitudes. of the triangle ABC. And uh, which is an exercise in the previous section, <laughs> which I will not do it, maybe I will do it later. Uh, as an exercise, uh, three altitudes are concurrent. So I will leave this to you. You should uh, prove it. Uh, you should show it. The common. Efendim. Ee, peki diki içeride çekemiyorsak mesela bazı üçgenlerde dik dışarıdan geliyor ya. Olabilir. O zaman 
şey oluyor mu? Seviyen oluyor mu yani? Seviyen. E, o zaman seviyen olmuyor tanıma göre. Aynen. Alt, o zaman altitude da olmaz yani. Olur mu? E, let's say we are talking about uh, acute angle triangle. <gülüyor> okay. Uh, in this case, if we have as you say, if we have like this, right? Mm -hmm. Although they're not civilians, right? Yes. Uh, this is when you draw it like this. This is the height, H, like this. Uh, the altitude is like this, but uh, Well, they may still intersect at some point. I don't know. Mm. You should check it. <laughs> Altitudes. And there's another. Uh, from this side to that one. They may still intersect at some point, at the same point. I don't know. <laughs> That's a good exercise for you. Okay, totally. let's do it for uh, acute angle triangle, or the angles are less than uh, less than ninety degrees. Okay, let me finish these definitions, and then I will uh, stop. The common point. The common point of uh, three altitudes. Well, here uh, I, I said that it's they're civilians, but they may not be civilians. Uh, yeah, probably it's, it's true. I I I have to check. Uh, the common point of the three civilians. Uh, is called the orthocenter. The orthocenter of ABC. Uh, D, E, F are the feet of, feet of, feet is already plural, feet of altitudes. And uh, the triangle is called, the triangle DEF is called the optic triangle. Let me sketch this once again. So whenever we have this uh, ABC, we have this altitude, this altitude, and that altitude. This intersection H is called the orthocenter. Of AB, of course, ABC. And this triangle is called Oh, by the way, this was D, E, F. This is called the ortic triangle. And the uh, feet are D, E, F are, are feet of uh, altitudes. Feet of altitudes. Okay, let's uh, stop here for today. Uh,